we've been getting a lot of questions about how we added the door to this bell tent. I gotta say, if you wanna make your bell tent something that you're gonna live in full time, the door is gonna be one of the first things that you're gonna wanna put in there. Because those tent zippers, they get really, really old very, very quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some detail on how we built this door onto this bell tent. Okay, so first things first, what we built was a frame. You can kind of see right along here, we built this frame that goes right along the inside of the bell tent opening. And it's all, it goes all the way along like that. And it continues on to the other side over here like that. The frame is built out of two by 12s. So these are old two by 12s that we got reclaimed from somewhere. And that's how, what we built the frame out of. Once you have a basic frame, you've measured out your opening, give it a few inches on the inside from the tent edges. Once you build your frame, then the way you're gonna attach it is by screwing it down into the deck. That's how we attach this. You can't really see many screws here. It's, we've been using this a long time, so it's getting, it's a little bit dirty, but these are screwed down into the deck in a few places through the tent. So remember that you are gonna be poking holes into your tent. That's important if you decide you want to do this. That gives the frame something that it's anchored to, a rigidity. Okay, so once you've built your tent frame like this, and then you've screwed it down into the floor of your tent, the next thing you want to do is put in a couple of supports. You could build that into the frame initially like this for the doorway. So you want that to be you know, about a quarter of an inch bigger than your door on either side. You can see what the doorway looks like. We use some caulking around all the edges because I did not do a great job on making this perfect. And what you have to do is then figure out what this top edge is gonna look like for your door. And you have to cut that out of your door. And that's how you make it so that the door is the right shape. You just need to cut this to the shape of your opening. Um, which for us was just this top edge. Once you have this frame set up, the next thing that you need to do is add some paneling to that frame on the outside. So literally all of these are just cut to the edge of the frame and then they're just screwed in along the edge like this into the frame. So next, after you have your frame and it's in place and then you have your siding that's attached to it, whether that's plywood and then more siding on top of that, then you want to attach the actual tent to your frame so that it's sealed, so that bugs don't get in, so that stuff doesn't, can't get in there. And the way you do that is you literally just attach a piece of trim to this. So you can see here, we just lined this all with trim that we screwed through the edge of the tent and that wedged the tent to this frame which made sure that it sealed tightly against the tent. So right here, you can see this is the original tent right here. This is the edge of that tent. And this right here is the old opening of the tent. So it's rolled up right here, but the tent is just wedged into this frame right here. And that keeps it tight. Bottom of the tent, we went ahead and folded it up along the edge and we folded it along these edges and we just caulked it and stapled it. And that has worked pretty well to keep water out. Look at those ladybugs. Check this out guys. I just found a whole group of ladybugs trying to make a home here for winter time because it's about to get cold. It's pretty cool. So once you have your frame, once you have your siding, then you attach it to the tent, and then you attach the base. Your frame, your door on this tent is pretty much done. You have your door jam. Now you just need to install a door. I'm not gonna go into details on that because there's a ton of good videos out there for how to do that. Um, and then 
that takes out the hassle of having a double zip zipper. Triple, actually. You get to close your door, and you get to open your door. And even though it's still a tent and people could break in if they wanted, it's really nice to have the peace of mind of knowing that you can lock your door at night. Just gives you a peace of mind knowing that if someone does want to break in, they have to cut through the tent to get in. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. We hope that you found this helpful. Those of you that are doing this, those of you that are trying to live out in a bell tent, already are living out in a bell tent, I'm telling you having a door makes a huge difference in quality of life. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to clarify or if things weren't clear. And um, I hope you guys are doing great.